tech bore, but a stellar business. We're talking about LinkedIn. I think only the unemployed, the overly ambitious, can get excited about social networking for work. But it's an awesome business, as its most recently quarterly results show. The stock is up almost 20% today. Revenue is growing about 80% per year. Moreover, all three of the company's businesses are growing fast. More people are joining the network, both here and abroad. So employers want to place more job listings on LinkedIn. People are more willing to pay up for premium services, and advertisers are spending to reach all these eyeballs. The stock's wildly expensive at more than 100 times earnings, but growth isn't going to slow anytime soon, and the company will probably grow into its valuation. Another online service that's performing well is Open Table. The restaurant reservations company posted sales and profit that topped estimates. It also gave a forecast for 2013 that's roughly in line with analysts. A third of bookings through Open Table are now taking place on mobile devices. Percentage expected to grow, especially as its app gets integrated with Apple's Siri. It's also trying to broaden its offerings. Last month, Open Table bought Food Spotting, which is an app for finding and sharing great dishes at restaurants. And diners can also write reviews on the site about the restaurants they visit. That's because Open Table needs to diversify to stay competitive. Yelp and Google can come into the business at any time. And Yelp is the go-to source for reviews, while Google gets reviews through Zagat's and Maps, among other relevant services. Shares of OpenTable are up nearly 3% above 50 bucks. Another company involved with Apple's Siri is Nuance Communications. That's our sputtering stock today. The voice recognition company provides some of the technology behind the Apple program. But as the quarterly earnings show, it's a really, really poor business. Sure, revenues grew 28%, but much of the growth comes from acquisitions. Just try and figure out what the company's real growth rate is without M&A. I can't. Moreover, the company lost $22 million in the quarter, according to Standard Accounting. Perhaps that's why the company tells investors to focus on its own version of profit. It ignores lots of bad stuff, like the cost of issuing stock to executives. Their figure shows Nuance making $113 million. Investors aren't buying it. Stock's down almost 20% today, and I wouldn't touch this stock. Our soaring stock today, however, takes the opposite approach to counting, a conservative one. Activision Blizzard's forecasting a profit of 2013 of 80 cents a share. That's below the 96 cents analysts expected. Analysts say, however, the company has a history of lowering expectations and then beating them. This comes out after Activision's Call of Duty game led to blockbuster holiday sales. Profit was also strong. This is despite the continued threat of mobile games, which cost a fraction of the price of games Activision makes for consoles like the Xbox. Shares of Activision up more than 10%. They hit a 52-week high of 1394. And that's Techwity this Friday. Remember, you can follow us on Twitter, RTRS Techwity. I'm Rob Searin, and this is Reuters.